This is going to be hands boss rush. Alert. Full speed ahead. I'm using the NGW Beer Baron, which I designed um, a few videos ago. Uh, the only change is I've added a um, code breaker cheat for 200 knots because otherwise it would take forever for me to record this. It's still a pretty long video. Anyways, um, the first boss is the uh, Whirlwind. It's a super fast battleship. The first playthrough, you won't be able to catch up with it no matter what ship you have. Um, my best advice is for you to just get the strongest cans you have and just keep firing at it. If it drives away, just stick around and it'll come back eventually. But otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward battleship battle. Um, there's also a second objective that most people usually don't catch. There's a battleship on the map that you have to rescue the crew from, and it only happens if you're near it. So I'm just going to show it because most people don't have any idea where it is. Secondary objective added. Okay, I've also added um, side thrusters and forward thrusters, Stop engine. so you can Reverse just see how maneuverable you can get the ship to be. Stop engine. If you hear that um, that engine whine sound, it's usually um, me firing the uh, emergency boosters. Basically, all you do is sit here and wait for him to board your ship for about 20 seconds. For layout two. This is probably the first boss battle you'll have where the enemy fleet actually has lasers. Secondary objective it's kind of creepy because ahead. they pretty much shoot at you all the time. You have to destroy them for your S rank prize as well. So you have to be really careful not to hit anything. I was amazed I did not hit any ship here. Just weaving through. Basically, um, your strategy would be probably to pee on the enemy ship with your strongest cannons. And uh, if you're um, a person who uses torpedoes, you can use those as well. That's pretty much it. Usually you won't be this fast, so all you do is just aim at it and fire. You'll be able to lock onto it and shoot. Um, as far as how much damage it does to you, not very much. Uh, I handled this pretty well in my first try with hard difficulty. If, if you have problems with it though, um, just... Uh, try training on other levels, get your weapons Super up. Weapon now, that'll, that'll be it. Full speed ahead. All hands alert. Next one is a submarine called Dreadnought. You'll actually see this quite often in the game. Around this time, you'll probably get your first, uh, if you've been following the treasure map, uh, your first anti-sub missile. Don't bother with it. Just let it surface and pound it. Um, you might have problems actually destroying it on your first playthrough. I did, especially on hard. It'll have a lot of HP. But your mission objective is just to let the uh, your friendly fleet escape. So that'll be pretty easy. Just try to make sure they don't die. Uh, in second layout, Lots of enemy battleships with uh, lasers pee on them. Enemy battleships sunk. Blood runner. You know, in actual gameplay, I don't actually swerve around like this. It just—it's the first trigger I've had that goes like this. I usually have a really slow battleship, so it's just kind of fun for me to spin around in circles and do crazy loops like that. Deck damage. In actuality, in the first layout, most of the enemy ships won't be a threat to you, so just make sure you follow the submarine. Enemy It'll be somewhere near sunk. your giant enemy blue fleet. Sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. I'm just having fun with my uh, high explosive missiles, so. Enemy battleship sunk. Yeah, and that's enemy my magnetic pulse gun sunk. if you haven't seen it before. It's a baby um, uh, wave gun. Just carry it on the back for emergencies. I'll actually need it for later boss battles, but until then, just watch it. I'm uh, actually firing my advanced anti-sub weapons here. They hurt a lot more. You'll enjoy them on your second playthrough. Otherwise, just wait for it to surface and pound it away with your main guns. 
I wouldn't recommend Gatling guns for this. Um, just use the main guns, fire it at it. If it doesn't work, don't worry, just uh, withdraw when the battle's over and come back and defeat it later. Also, I must point out that some of the commentary is kind of retarded. It's like, um, they have to say obvious things like, Super Weapon is sinking! This one's, uh, kind of crazy. It's actually one of the harder battles, even though I have problems with it. You have to kill this within a certain time limit, or, uh, basically you lose the uh, mission automatically. It's a crazy mission. It tells you to fire at the hatch. I'm not sure if that actually helps, but what I found helpful was lowering the difficulty my first time playing this and using um, 88 uh, millimeter twin barrel Gatling guns on this. Oh yeah, there's lots of ships on this, so ignore them and go for the. Uh, Super weapon first on your first playthrough. I would advise that and just withdraw because you probably won't have enough uh, firepower to defeat the rest of the ships. There's at least two or three fleets along with this giant, giant super weapon. I don't know if I showed you the uh, scale. This ship is huge, and it's not even the largest one. You'll actually see the dual crater later in, um, and actually in extra missions as well, where it drops super weapons out of its ass. Yeah, more super weapons out of its ass. It's crazy. Super weapon destroyed. Well, that wasn't pretty long for the first three. 